There we go. Are we off on that? Really? Oh, we got the boat. Oh, we just took a hit. We just took a hit. Doggone it, we took a hit. Alright, let's see. Let's look at our airplane here. Oh, our tail. Nice, we lost a rudder. All right, guys and gals, let's do some Warthog stuff today. I have just started taking up the Warthog. I've had this plane for a while, right? I've had the A-10 for a while, but uh, I think I've done one video with it, and it may have been about a year or so ago that I've flown this thing. Like, it's been a long time. The Warthog's pretty complex. It's complex. Any amount of controls that you have on the HOTUS and uh, the stick. So we can kind of make it work. So I'm refamiliarizing myself with this plane. I was never really that familiar with it, but uh, you know, I've always said when you're learning aircraft modules in DCS, especially the high fidelity things, uh, you start with baby steps, right? You learn how, you, of course, you got to start the airplane up, right? You got to be able to start it up, uh, take off, land, kind of just basically be able to fly it around. And then when you start moving into the weapon systems, you start doing uh, the basic things like today we're going to be dropping uh, uh, cluster bombs in CCIP mode. Like you can't get any more basic weapons delivery than that. And then eventually you move on to the targeting pod and manipulating it and doing all the more fancy technical stuff, right? So we're just doing the basics today. We're going to be hitting um, some uh, AAA out to the west is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be working on putting bombs on targets and avoiding being hit so we're going to be practicing our delivery and that sort of thing because eventually i want to take take this thing in georgia at war but uh georgia at war is going to be really hostile towards this airplane because of the layered air defenses so we got to figure out how to survive the layered air defenses all right let's go ahead and let's get this thing loaded up uh actually let's take a peek at it. this is a battle creek bird i i want to say this is an air national guard plane i could be wrong but i I think Battle Creek was uh, Air National Guard. I don't even know if they're still around anymore, but it's a really nice airplane. Beautiful airplane. Uh, let's load her up. Let's go ground crew, rearm, refuel, and we'll do the basics. We're going to take some captive AIM 9s. I want this loadout to represent like a, a, a combat loadout so I can feel how the airplane handles, even though we're not going to be doing anything with AIM 9s. Uh, I want it to be kind of representative of a typical combat loadout. So we're going to take a targeting pod. We're not going to be using it, but we're taking one with us. We're going to take um, the LQ-184. And now we need to load our CBUs. We're going to do CBU-97s across the board. The 105s, you can't drop CCIP. They have to be CCRP. So that's why we're taking the 97s. Some more 97s here. Uh, where's it? All right, right there. What's our weight looking like? 45, 9, 29, 46. I don't think we're going to be able to take another one. I think we're going to be uh, overweight. Yeah, we're overweight a little bit. Let's remove that one in. Uh, six CBUs, not bad. We could do that. I mean, we could offload some fuel if we wanted to. If we wanted to take one more, we could offload some fuel. But I think six is a good number. We'll go with that. All right, let's let this guy load up. And we'll hop in the cockpit and get this bad boy started up. Look up. Center the track R. Now I can look down. No problem. Uh, you can't get any more iconic than the A-10. It's one of those airplanes, like, when you talk about, like, modern-day military aviation or military aviation past 20 or 30 years, this is the one that pops in your mind, right? F, uh, the F-15C, uh, the F-14, the A-10, the B-52, the F-111, the F-16, of course. Like, those are all uh, iconic aircraft. All right, let's do uh, first battery first. Battery power. Rearming complete. Inverter zone. Let's look over here to the other side, get the APU going. All right, so my flow right now is a very basic, like, get through the motions kind of flow. It may not be in the correct order. That's something like on my flows, I just learn, like, everything that I need to do. And then I go back and I refine the, uh, the order in which I do it. But uh, we're just getting it up and going right now. All right, APU is up. Center back down like that. All right, I think that's better. Uh, APU is going. Let's do APU generator on so we can get some power. So we get some powers over here, and we need to do 
What is that? I couldn't even see what that was. It's, it's basically, it's getting our uh, nav aligning. So that's one of the first things I like to do so it can be working on that. It takes a bit. Uh, let's do radios. Let's go main on you. Transmit on that one. Transmit on that one. Let's go to 249. Actually, we can listen to ATIS here for a second. Well, I don't hear ATIS. I don't think they have ATIS on uh, the trading server, actually, so never mind. Let's go 113. We don't need to hear Overlord. Uh, 249.5. It's going to be CTAF. Uh, that's good. What else we need to do here? Uh, I think that's it. I think we're ready for engine start. Let's go to main tanks on that so we can see what our fuel looks like. Yeah, we got fuel for days. That's the thing about this plane. It can loiter forever. All right, we'll do alt home for the left engine. Watch him make sure he comes up. There we go. All right, now he's coming up. Let's go ahead and close the canopy. We'll arm the seats. Like I said, this isn't in any particular order. All right, left engine's coming up. You can see right there in RPM. Up to 60, that's a good start. Uh, let's clear his master caution here. Let's go ahead and get all this on as well. And let's get the displays up. All right, let's do right engine with the uh, right control home. It's looking good. Hide the stick here. There, there you go. See, she's coming up. Oil pressure's coming up. And RPMs are coming up. A lot of steam gauges in A10, right? All right, ride engine is up and running. I think we're good with her. Let's go ahead and turn off the APU generator and we'll kill the APU. All right, our displays are up. Let's go ahead and hit load all. That is for our ordinance. Is loading our ordinance into the computer so it knows uh, what we have and what we need to do. Let's go ahead and get this guy uncaged. Got that. We'll get these four over here. here I need to get anti-skid on right here. We'll get taxi lights. Not landing, but taxi. That's good. Ordnance is loaded because we got the dots beside all this, so we can go to uh, Dismas. And we can see we got all our CBUs in there now, our lightning pod, our, uh, our captive aim nines, and our uh, ECM pod. Uh, we'll go to CDU on this side. It's still aligning. Yeah, it's still going through its alignment, so we'll hold tight on that. Uh, lights. I forgot about lights. We should have done that. Actually, let's do steady on that. We got to do control P for the pinky switch because I don't have a good HOTUS. And we'll get you on anti-collision. Those should be up and working now. Let's look at it and see. Yes, they are. Very nice. Man, what a good looking airplane, right? It looks so good. Kind of a plain Jane A10. I like it though. I dig it. You know, there's no shark mouth and all that. Like that's kind of cliche, right? Like you just expect shark, you know, shark's mouth on A10s. Uh, nav is aligned. Okay, 4.008. So that's good to go. So now what we need to do is hit nav. Go down here and hit, what is that called? EGI, Eggy. And then we come over here and we hit that one. That is... EAC. So EAC is good to go. 
Let's go over here and do altitude on radar. And I think we're pretty much ready to go. All right, we're going to hit F one time for flaps. So see our flaps come down to 10. Actually, shift F. Well, I'll take that back. Let's try it again. Maybe I hit shift G. There we go. Now this flaps down to 10. Uh, altimeter, we need to set that. What is our altimeter setting going to be? Briefing. South bottom. 2972. All right. I think it's that all the time on here. I don't think it ever changes. 2972. 3, 2. There we go. Perfect. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, we could do our uh, helmet display. We could get him on. And oxygen, everything. That should be good. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and get some instrument lights up just for light shadows. If the cockpit gets in shadows, I like to have these up. We don't need the flood, though. Let's turn him back off. We don't need that. Yeah, I do believe we're good to go, guys. I do believe. We're on 249.5. We're on good radio. We definitely need that. That's the only radio we really need. Let's get that guy centered. Let's pull him back some. All right, let's look at uh, F10, see who's around us, what they're doing, so we'll kind of know, at least have a little bit of an idea. So we're taking off on runway seven, Green Hornet, F-A-18C. I love the F-18. Man, people kind of throw off on the F-18 because they say it's easy mode, but that's fine. I like that. I like that. I love the whole the F-18 flying experience. I like doing land base. Like, I don't have to do carrier. I've done some carrier. I've got a video. We'll probably get out at some point doing some carrier ops, but uh, yeah, I like the F-18 a lot. It's a good one. All right, let's... Uh, Go ground crew, let's remove wheel chocks. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. That's good. Copy. Let's do takeoff wheel trim over here, here if I can see it. Alright, takeoff trim is set. I think it basically neutralizes your trim. I don't think you really have any kind of like trim up or anything with this plane. I could be wrong, but all right, so we're Toro flight today. Toro 1-1. We've been Spock. Spock is a real call sign they use out of Battle Creek, but uh, we're going to do Toro today. What airfield are we at? I don't even know what this airfield is called, to be honest. I think this is Kutasi, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Let's see. F-10. Kutasi, yeah. Nose wheel steering within. We need that. It's muy importante. You're going to be going straight ahead if you don't do that. <laughs> Trust me, I forgot. Spurs learn the hard way, okay? <laughs> don't forget your nose wheel steering. Nothing more embarrassing than to crack your throttle and start rolling out in front of a bunch of people and uh, you just kind of roll off into the grass because you didn't have your nose wheel steering. It happens, right? It happens to the best of us. Of course, weapons are off right now, and I forgot the most important thing. We've got all these CBUs, right? We got six cluster bombs, but the most important thing we got is this cannon, right? We're gonna be getting in some uh, gun action on this thing. Maybe we might do a little strafing. Uh, targets. Target is going to be out to the west here. We got uh, Shilkas and Bofors, uh, Shilka and Bofors, Bofors and Shilka and Bofors. Those are our main threats. Those are what we're going to have to worry about. Let's go ahead and get our uh, our uh, RWR and all that up. Let's see, Jammer, Dispenser, Auto. We're going to, yeah, let's hold off on RWR. I think it's kind of uh, annoying. I need to figure out the volume for that thing so I can turn it down. That's like, it goes back to like the whole refining your process, right? Like right now in the basics, RWR volume isn't that important to me. I mean, it's something I'd like, but um, we'll go back and figure that out another day. 
We just basically want to get up in the air and um, put these bombs on target. We got disconnected from SRS for some reason. I don't know why. Rio Checo 249.5. Thank you. Yeah, we lost our uh, we lost the radio for a second. I don't know why. I just wanted to make sure when we reconnect. I was like, is this thing acting right or what? It's not showing this radio even dialed in. Put on one two seven. There we go. Now it's working. Double check our traffic. Make sure there's no one coming in to land. Nothing going on. Got a few people out there going around here for us we have to worry about yeah it is a training server stuff happens that right, you have to be on your toes a little bit a lot of people don't use the radio on here Zoom out just a bit. A little better. Dots traffic, Toro 1 1, taking the runway set for departure to Dots. Alright, clear on the approach in. I don't see anyone down there. It's clear on the map. Yeah, if you're uh, if you're new to DCS, if you're new to the whole multiplayer thing and everything, I would definitely highly recommend getting on Hoggett's training server. It just helps you get a, a, a feel for the vibe, how things work out. All right, we don't need that. All right, lined up. Good to go. Let's open the throttle. Those wheels steering off. 300 knots. There we go. All right, we're off. Gear up. We'll hang out with the flaps for a bit. Start turning on course here. Kind of do it like a combat departure, right? Kind of staying low a little bit. All right, let's get flaps up with F. All right, flaps are up, gears up, looking good. Let's roll out on a, a rough heading here. It's, it's, it's an asymmetrical load, so she's wanting to roll to the right just a little bit. Let's give her a little bit of left trim. A little more. A little nose down trim. 
Yeah, trimmed another trim dependent aircraft, right? Like F-16, F-18, those planes you don't really have to fool with it. I'm not sure about the F-15E. The e, the e model may not. Uh, the C does. The Russian aircraft do. If you're not used to trimming an aircraft, definitely fly it around and figure out, you know, learn how to trim. All right, so what we're going to do is climb up to uh, about 11,000 feet. The cloud layer is going to be starting about 12, so we're going to stay just below those. Uh, Shilka threat, the ZSU, it's up to about 6,500 feet, I think. I think it's 6,500. The Bofors, like, I don't, I don't know. Uh, Bow fours upwards of 10,000 feet. I've, I have them shooting at me at 10k, but they got such a slow firing rate and they're not very accurate. I don't worry about them too much as long as you're kind of moving around a little bit. There, it would be a really lucky shot for them to get you. But the the Shilka, yeah, definitely. That's our big threat. So what we're going to do is we're going to cruise out about 11,000 feet, 11.5, 11, and um, we'll roll in on the target. We'll do like a pattern. Right, like we'll have a, a downwind. Uh, 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 I don't know exactly what the bomb pattern names are, but basically a downwind and upwind, a crosswind and a base, that sort of thing. Yeah, it's just climbing out really nice. Uh, let's double check our heading. I thought someone was taxiing at Kutasi. I guess that's somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, we're about on the right heading. We just head towards the big lake out there. Another airfield. Which airfield is that? What airfield is that out there? That's, uh, that's this one, right? Sanaki, okay. Yeah, she's still wanting to list to the right a little bit there. This is such a fun airplane to fly. It's 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 involved like manipulating the targeting pod and all that stuff is, is like way involved. It's way more involved than the Hornet, but the actual flying of the airplane is such a good airplane to fly. And I really feel like this is the perfect airplane to learn formation flying with. I need to do that because you don't get in a hurry for anything. It's such a slow, like stable aircraft. It's almost like a trainer, like flying a little T-37 or something. Except you're carrying a crap ton of bombs. All right, I think we need to offset. A little bit to the right. I was looking for the big lake. Is that it over there? Yeah, that's the lake. That's what we need. Go back to the left now. All right, through 11,000 feet. Our little town that we're going to hit, the first target is going to be right over there where it says Mission 1, actually, believe it or not. As you see, you can kind of see it right there in my crosshairs. There's going to be a Bofors and a Shilko over there. Those are the first ones we want to take out. All right, we're through 11.5. Let's... Zoom out a little bit. Full speed back. Yeah, we probably could have gotten away dumping some fuel off this thing. We don't need all this, but... I've run this mission before learning the systems and I think we, uh, by the time we got done dropping everything and using the gun, I think we had about 65% fuel left.
All right, let's go ahead and kill the anti-collision. I, I don't know if it makes any difference to uh, enemy sighting, but we're going to get in the habit of turning that off. Let's look and see. Are we flashing? I just don't want to be flashing. Yeah. We're steady. We still have our position lights, but we're not flashing. Yeah, mission one's going to be for all those BMPs. What we're going for is going to be right in there, I think. All right, she climbed up again on us there. All right, let's go ahead and arm up. Let's select uh, CBU 97. I think we're going to do it times one, master arm mode. We're good with that. It should be right there. Let's look at the map real fast. Because we have that luxury. Georgia at war, you don't have that. You don't have the map. But we have a little bit of assistance with that. Our both fours. All right, we see the building with the three tanks behind it and the two long ones. So it's going to be between this little building and the one with the three tanks is where they're going to be. And we're climbing up in the clouds. We don't need to do that. All right, there's our building with the three tanks. There's the little building right there. So it's gonna be in that little like courtyard right there is what we're looking for. All right, let's start our base to our run in. All right, so we know what to look for. We're at 12,000 feet, so we need to try to roll out of this by 6,500. We may get a little bit below that. We may get down as low as five, but all right, you see our building, our building with the three tanks right there, the little small building beside it. So it's going to be somewhere in that courtyard right there. They're going to be right there on top of each other too. All right, let's go ahead, let's cut the power, let's roll in. Nice and easy, you can't yank on this airplane too much. All right, we rolled in a little bit early. Cause I'm not getting the, yeah, let's come off, let's come off. Cause we're not, we rolled a little bit early. We rolled in a little bit early on that. Climb back out, circle around on our uh, crosswind here. Yeah, we need to be a little closer in and um, roll out on it later. Nice, that's going to be Strike Eagles leaving out. Let's go check it out real fast. Uh, I don't know. Not that. Yeah, I don't know. Usually what I like to try to do is have the target like right along the edge of the canopy is what I figured out the other day. To like setting up a successful run. That's uh, that's why we're training. To try to get used to this stuff where it's just basically second nature. All right, let's come in a little closer.
All right, there we go. You see it just on the edge of the canopy there. All right, let's cut the power. Let's roll in. There we go. Now we got our pipper. We're a little bit off on it though. Not that great. Pickle. No, we need to turn our RWR on. We didn't do a good job fencing in here. Oh, we got it. Nice. Shilka. And the Bofors. Both hit. Shilka critical. We're a little bit off on that. All right. Bofors is destroyed. Bofors is down. I think... Oh, they're still going off. You see the smoke. Man, I covered a big area. That, they're, <laughs> they're just so cool to watch. Cluster munitions. They're so cool to watch. All right, let's watch our climb here. Let's trim back to the left a little bit. Let's look at the map. Let's see, what is that? Uh... Oh, the Shilk is gone. We got it, nice. All right, so we got another Bofors and a ZSU kind of here at the tip of this bend in the river. Let's go set up for that. Let's get our next munition here. All right, that's our river we're looking at. And the tip of the bend. It's going to be right there. You can kind of make one out down there right now. I think that's the Shilka right there. Yeah, that's the Shilka. There should be a Bofors down there too. There's going to be a Bofors down there. The Bofors, yeah, the Shilka is closer to the tip. The Bo Bofors is, ah, yeah, the, the other one. The other one just went boom. Nice. I love landing bombs on those things. They're so bad. <laughs> They're so bad. That's the AAA that will get you. Like I said, I don't sweat the Bofors too much, but the Shilka, yeah. All right, let's... We need to get that going. I'm a bad pilot. Spurs a bad pilot. I didn't fence in correctly. That way we know if the Shilk is tracking us. It's, uh, it's radar guided, so it's important that... We hear that, so we'll know. Now that Bofors, they could reach out and get us right now if they wanted to. They could totally do it, but... Oh, come on. Little rudder. No, no, no. Pull up, pull up. Pickle. Oh yeah, that was way lower than what I thought, and we're trying to... Oof, yeah, that was bad. You see we're dumping chaff like crazy. He's shooting at us. There we go. Are we off on that, really? Oh, we got the boat. Oh, we just took a hit. We just took a hit. Doggone it, we took a hit. Yeah, we took a hit. I think we did. I don't know what got hit. Yeah, we just dumped a crap ton of chaff. All right, let's see. Let's look at our airplane here. Oh, our tail. Nice, we lost a rudder. Yeah, we sure did. We lost our rudder. All right, so we didn't get the Shilka. We got the Bofors, but we didn't get the Shilka. Doggone it. I've done this. I've done this a few times, just training, and, and <laughs> it never got hit. 
Let's look at the map. All right, so the ZSU's still there. We got another boat force down there. I can't believe. All right, you see, that's where the boat force was at, right there, that black dot. The other spot, that's the Shilka. Like that's what we need to get. We demonstrate how good the A10 is. It's uh, taking a beating and. And believe it or not, it's the Bofors that got us. Like, that's totally what did all that damage. And I said that was the one that I'm not worried about. Okay, we gotta keep climbing. Let's roll in on the target. See if we can get a little better uh, line up here. Pickle. Yeah, you see we're dumping chaff like no tomorrow. We're going to wind up dumping all our chaff. good hit really I don't know if the wind if the wind like carried it or what but that seemed like a good that seemed like a good drop to me like we were almost directly on it so I think what we need to do is uh, drop just a hair to the east Yeah, we need to drop to the east. What's our chaff look like? A hundred? Man, I hate it. It goes through so many. It's on an auto program, so it just automatically does it. Probably should do it manual. Yeah, let's drop. Uh, as we're looking at it right now, we'll just, we'll drop more towards that tree line there, and maybe they'll drift back towards the target. I, I think that's what happening. I think the wind is carrying because they're on parachutes. I think the CBU-97 is on parachutes. I could be wrong on that, but... All right, let's go ahead and roll in. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth is what you need. Here's a little rudder here. Pickle right there. Nice turn here. All right, we're already out of his range. Let's see what that does. Hopefully that's gonna be more on target. Boom, got it, nice. All right, yeah, that did it. That did it. That went exactly where I was kind of hoping. A little bit further our way than what I'd like, but oh yeah, okay, there we go. On the river. Man, it's just saturating that whole area. All right, sweet. Uh, next bow fours right here, just on the other side of that little tree line, and then we got a ZSU and a bow fours too. 
So our next one. Should be like down in here somewhere. Yeah, it should be down in there somewhere. ZSU destroyed. Nice. CCIP bombing is actually a lot of fun. I mean, CCRP is a lot easier and safer, but... Um, CCIP is a lot of fun. I enjoy it. If we didn't have this cloud layer, it wouldn't be as much of a problem either. Like, we could drop from a little higher and we wouldn't even risk getting uh, getting in range. Where is he at? There he is right there. All right, I see it. I see it. I see it. I saw it. All right, let's roll in. It's kind of in that little dark grassy area. Like right, right there, pickle. All right, that's going to be the other Shilka getting us chaff down to 48. Let's jink a little bit. All right, 36500, so we should be clear of that. The Bofors can still get us. Yeah, I see the Bofors shooting at us there. He's trailing behind us, so. Did we not drop? We didn't drop because we didn't have anything selected. Okay, well, that was a dry run. Yeah, that's the only thing. Totally did that on purpose. Man, that would have been a good one, too. That sucks. What's our chaff? Zero, nice. Zero chaff. Good job. Make sure everything's okay on our engines. Since we did take that one hit, I want to make sure that everything's all right. Fuel's okay. No fuel leaks, no hydraulic problems. Engines look okay. So yeah, it, it, it's just a scratch. Just a scratch, we'll be okay. That's one of the more surprising things about the A-10 that I learned flying this thing is that you can't yank, yank and bank on it nearly as much as what I thought you could. All right, let's pull the power back. And let's roll in. Yeah, see like that right there is a little bit much. That was a little bit much, but we're okay. We're good. Right about. Oh, I hope that's good. That was kind of a bad run in. That was a bad run in. We'll see. Yeah, he's shooting at us. Yeah, you see him coming up. Let's pull a little bit more. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, so close, right? Like just, just a little bit north of it. Just a little bit north of it. Man, what? Oh, they're still... They're in the trees, though. Yeah, just a little bit to the north of it. All right, let's go our last CBU, and then after that is gun time. That was a bad lead-in, though. That lead-in really kind of affected my drop. speed's 240. Yeah, she's a lot quicker now that we've uh, lost all that drag and weight. Yeah, that was a bad lead-in. Led to a bad drop, and then we wound up 
See, we might be able to go, like, we got a hole in the clouds here, so we might be able to go a little higher. And uh, give ourselves a little bit more time. Alright, I, I think that might be good. Let's try it now. about all right pickle oh yeah he's shooting at us we're 8,000 feet so we shouldn't the Bofors can get us but Unless I'm looking at the wrong thing down there, I could have swore. Yeah, it still was a bad drop. There we go, there we go, all right. All right, that should be enough. That should be enough to get him taken care of. Let's go uh, gun arm. I'm going to say that's enough. He shouldn't be a factor anymore. He's 50% damaged. All right. So our next target. Is down here. Let's see. Two buildings, three buildings there. And then some more. All right. Let's see. All right, I see it. Right there is one. One off that tree line there, and then there should be, there should be another one. Just below it, just to the, like to the southeast of it a little bit. All right, I lost my spot. I lost my spot, it's gonna be right. Here, right there, right in here somewhere too. All right. All right, she's a lot faster without those bombs. Let's roll in, let's do it. Oh, we need to go gun mode. There we go. Little rudder. Oh, nice. Got it. Sweet. I heard him. <laughs> he was chirping for a split second. And then he shut up. Yeah, we got that thing big time. Yeah, I see him down there smoking, so it is exactly... Alright, so the Bofors should be... Oh, there's something else shooting at us here. Man, he's shooting at us big time. Gotta be careful. Sorry, uh... Engines are okay. Alright, just double check that. Make sure. I think that other Bofors is back up. No? I, is this one? It's the 50% one is shooting at us. Yeah, it's the 50% one. We need to deal with him. We need to figure out exactly where he's at. I thought he was in this spot right here. I don't know. There it is. Right there. Alright, so he's just about in the middle of that. In that little green area like I thought. 
climb a little bit more. Oh man, she's climbing good now. Wow. All right, let's roll in. It should be like right in. Let's roll off. I don't think we got it that time. I don't think we landed any hits. I'm, st I I'm still a little bit confused on where it's at. I keep thinking I see it. I don't know. We could use our targeting pod. Yeah, we could use our targeting pod. I gotta remember how to do that though. I, I know like the very, very basics of the T-Pod. Let's go uh, TGP on. It's gonna take it a minute to warm up. What is tracking us? Whoa, what, what? F-15. Yeah, that was an F-15. Let's go two, five, three. Let's go uh, TGP on this side. Yeah, it's still. Still doing his thing. What's our uh, gun look at? 900 rounds. So, yeah, we still only had 1100 starting out. So, yeah, we're fine on that. Go ahead and run in. not where I think he is. Yeah, he is. Okay, never mind. We did get him. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. He was where I thought he was. We got him. So there's one left. One bow four is left. He won't. He's not smoking. Okay, yeah, I see the black dot now. Yeah, so he was where I thought he was. All right, so we got one bow four is left back there. Right over, looks like he's in that tree line right there. Yeah, I, I think that's gonna be him. Yeah, I really, I don't know how to manipulate this teapot. I really just don't. I've done it before in the past, but it's been so long, I, I don't. I really just don't remember. I said, if it wasn't for this cloud deck, we could do this a little higher. We could stay out of their, uh, out of their threat circle, but. All right, he is going to be. I think somewhere down in here. I thought I saw him for a split second. Yeah, I think I saw him. I think I know about where to uh, where to put it. Let's slow up a little bit. So we won't be quite so fast. Speed breaks out a little bit here. Speed breaks in. All right. I think I know about where he's at.
There he is, there he is. Let's get a little rudder. A little rudder. Boom, got him, nice. Nice, not, oh, our speed is way, what is up with our speed? Our, uh, our airspeed indication is not right. That's not right at all. Why was it showing 50? Like we were absolutely fine. Yeah, I don't know. That was super weird. Did something, did, did I just see a tracer go by or is that just? Yeah, we should have them all. We should have them. And now there's gonna be a bunch of BMPs down here. There's some right there. We could try to, yeah, we could use the last little bit of uh, ammo we got to go after one of those. It seems like our airspeed indication is a little bit janky. I was looking along that tree line there. Yeah, there's some. I think right there. I think right there. Just about in the middle of that tree line there. All right, let's roll in. So our threat's pretty much, I mean, the BMPs could get you too, but you'd have to be pretty low for, uh, for that to happen. And I think, We hit one. We hit the first spot that I thought. I wish it would smoke. I wish we'd start a fire. It always makes it a little easier. I know about where to... Okay, yeah. I know pretty much. look at our manual airspeed our uh, steam gauge because the other one on the HUD I don't know it just seems a little bit weird to me I mean it's correlating between the two Like I pulled, I'm all the way back at idle and it's not bleeding off any airspeed at all. It just gained a knot. That's crazy. Okay, let's roll in. All right, I think. Man, they're hard to spot. Those are really super hard to spot. Yeah, 
There we go. We got him. So you say it is saying 50 again. I think we took, yeah, see it is showing 50 in our airspeed indicator. How are, is it pitot heat? Is that what we need? Like, let's try that. That could be our problem. That could be our problem. What's our ammo, 210? There you go, now it's coming back up. I wonder if it's ice. I, I wonder if it's ice. It, it could very well be, it could be ice. That's what I'm going to go with. It's ice. Alright, we'll get in one more quick run on something and then we'll, uh... There's someone down there. I just saw a shadow. There he is. It's a chop uh, no, that's not a chopper. What is that? It's another A-10. Sweet. There he is. You see him on the display there. That's cool. All right, let's roll in. We're, we're going a little bit lower on this one. He just dropped cluster munitions. Yeah. All right. See, it seems like it's a little easier to spot them this way. All right, that's it. Nice, we got him. Good job, we got him. Oh, that gun is so awesome. Man, it's never enough ammo. <laughs> it's never enough ammo. I could literally do this all day long. I really could. There's something It's just so satisfying. All right, let's head back to... Um, you know what? I think we're going to divert. I think we're going to divert this field since we got damage. Yeah, we may do that. VTR destroyed. Sweets. Yeah, I think that's ice. I think we had an ice issue. What field is this? What field is this? Cobaletti. All right, yeah. All right, let's go uh, nav mode. Nav, there we go. Let's safe up everything. We don't need the TGP anymore. We won't use it. Is there anyone down there, Cobaletti? This is empty. Okay, good. All right, let's trim our nose down just a tad. Get down to 1500 AGL. Yeah, that's exactly what was going on. Our pedo heat. It was icing up, so we need the heat on. Yeah, I've never had that happen before in game. That's really cool. I think the Hornet is automatically owned. I don't know about the F-14. I don't know what you do with that. Seventeen hundred feet need to get a little bit lower. Of course on Rad Alley it's gonna change a lot. Let's just stay at sixteen hundred MSL. Close enough. Right, what's my trim look like when you trim those down a little bit? Maybe you trim back to the right. There you go, that's better. Alright, that, that yeah, that seems better. Seems like she's wanting y'all to the left just a little bit. That's probably that rudder issue we got. Thank God we've got two. Thank God for redundant rudders, right? Or we'd be in trouble right now. 
It seems like she's going to drift up just a little bit. All right, let's pull the power, get her in the brake. Reciprocal is going to be 25. Looking good. Get some flaps. About 25 right there, gear down. Flaps again. Landing. Little power. Little power. Engine gauges look good, so we did not take any damage on the engine. I was worried about that. We're a little bit low. All right, let's go ahead and roll in. Delay traffic. Tour one one base gear full stop. Runway set. Power back out. Lose some altitude, power out. Do our landing light on. I'd say we try side slipping this thing to lose a little speed and drop down some, but with the rudder issue, I don't want to, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not okay with that. <laughs> be my look, we'd snap our other rudder altitude, off and then we'd be altitude. done. Yeah, we're good, Betty. We're okay, don't worry about it. All right, little power. Sweet. Speed brakes out. Yes, those things make a huge difference. Man, they slow you down so fast. Slow her down some more here. All right, nose wheel steering within. Sweet. Sweet, we made it. <laughs> we made it home in one piece. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. We made it. Well, we did all right. We took a hit. The Bofors got us. That was the one that I wasn't really expecting to get us, and it got us. We got got. Luckily, we're in the A-10, though. Delay traffic, Tour 1-1, clear the action. Get those speed brakes back in. They're in. All right. Uh, flaps up times two. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Welcome to the A-10. I hope y'all enjoyed it. We're going to be doing some more in this plane. I've, I just, I've got to learn it. I've got to figure out how to uh, manipulate all the HOTAS functions without having a HOTAS. I don't have one. So I'm like having to do 50 bazillion different key bindings and things like that. Like trying to use what I do have to, uh, to make it happen. Maybe one of these days we can get one. I would love to, but, uh, Anyway, thank you all for watching. Love all of you, and we'll catch you in there next time. Peace. Powerful. I don't think. Oh, he oh, what was that? Oh, that was horrible. Lay on the brakes if you're not sitting down. You are now. <laughs> what? No, no, big cat. No, <laughs> stop. Oh, no. No, 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 kitty, go. Uh-uh. No. Uh-uh.